Okay. This is the first time I've seen this room with any color in it. It looks amazing. This is a lower school classroom. You could tell by the way some of the cabinets are built. Every room has millwork in it, every classroom in the building. But the lower school classrooms have their own specific millwork. Um, and they also have a sink. For the first time ever, Cook School classrooms actually have their own breakout space within every classroom. So if you need to do a small group or a one-on-one -on -one session, it can happen right inside the room. All the related service providers can be part of the classroom. I, I mentioned from the outside that each of the classrooms has a unique color window. You can see uh, in the afternoons, this actually gets the sun shining in with a blue line across the floor. It's pretty amazing. And then this is the bay window. If you can stand or sit in the cubby, you can actually see up and down Madison Avenue for several blocks. So this is one of the lower school hallways. Each one has benches along the sides as well as a drinking fountain, a water bottle filling station, and then a boys and girls bathrooms on each hallway. But then as I mentioned, the towers, these are the dividing doors that go up the three stories dividing the lower middle school from the upper school and the elevator shaft is in the middle. And as you look over here, you can see another water fountain, water bottle filling station, as well as upper school lockers. So the lockers are for the nine to 12 only. Um, and as you look down the hallway, each of the ends of the hallways has the stairwells. So this is the dedicated stairwell for the nine to 12 or upper school students. So I was just admiring one of the breakout spaces this is a typical upper school classroom. A uh, little bit different style of millwork, a little different than the lower school that you would see because the upper school has their own lockers in the hallway. Um, and this is the first time I've seen yellow. Every classroom has a different color throughout the building. Um, teachers' desks. And then you can see as we walk over, their uh, blinds are in process, um, as are lots of things in this space. But a couple of the things I want to mention. These lights are part of our environmentally friendly approach to uh, the technology. And so they're a light harvesting system that are not only motion sensitive, so they, they come on and off as people enter or leave the room, but they adjust automatically with the light coming in from the windows throughout the day. Um, not only is there soundproofing, but the lights also adjust to keep a constant level of light all day long. By design, the architects maximize the ceiling height in the classrooms. The infrastructure for technology, the heating and cooling, as well as the fresh air exchange systems have all been installed in the hallway ceilings to maximize the height of the classrooms. Another thing that all the teachers will be thrilled to hear is that each and every classroom has its own heating and cooling system in it. So you control your own thermostat in every classroom.